After two years of struggling in the electric vehicle EV market, Toyota has made a triumphant comeback, shaking up the competition with a groundbreaking new battery. What's the secret behind this game-changing innovation? It's none other than Toyota's all-new solid-state battery, which surpasses traditional lithium-ion batteries in every practical way. Curious to learn more about this revolutionary technology and its release date. Join us as we delve into how Toyota's solid-state battery is set to shock the world. What are solid-state batteries? Toyota's latest technological marvel is the solid-state battery, a significant leap forward in battery technology. At their core, solid-state batteries share similarities with conventional lithium-ion batteries, but boast several crucial differences that set them apart. Both types of batteries are lithium-based and use metallic lithium for the anode. However, solid-state batteries utilize oxides or sulfides for the cathode, enhancing energy density. The most significant distinction lies in the use of solid electrodes and electrolytes. While traditional batteries rely on polymer or liquid gel electrolytes, solid-state batteries employ solid electrolytes. These solid electrolytes serve as ideal separators, allowing only lithium ions to pass through, thereby improving efficiency and safety by reducing flammability. Interestingly, the concept of solid-state batteries isn't new. The idea has been around for nearly two centuries, with various manufacturers experimenting with this technology across different industries. For instance, many pacemakers use solid-state batteries due to their excellent safety record. However, their complexity and the slower pace of technological advancement limited their widespread use. Advantages of solid-state batteries Oh boy, don't even get us started. They're an upgrade in every single way possible. For starters, solid-state batteries are expected to hold a charge much better, which in turn results in a much higher range for vehicles that utilize them. Not to mention that solid-state batteries also have a noticeably higher energy density, up to 300% more compared to modern batteries. This means that a solid-state battery of the same size as a regular battery will have noticeably more energy at its disposal. As a result, Toyota has announced that their regular lithium-ion batteries will pass the 500-mile range mark in the next year or so, and that solid-state batteries will be noticeably more potent in this regard. Toyota's projections state that the first batch of production-ready batteries will have at least 520 miles of range, and that the second generation will come close to 700 miles. Ah, we know what you're thinking, but what if I must cover even greater distances than that? Well, don't worry, as solid-state batteries also offer the remedy for that too. If the increased range wasn't enough, solid-state batteries are also expected to be considerably faster to charge despite their increased capacity. You see, since utilizing a solid electrode increases high voltage tolerances, batteries can utilize a much higher voltage to be recharged. As a result, Toyota predicts that a production version of their solid-state batteries will be able to be charged from 10 to 80% in less than 10 minutes, which is just unfathomable. Oh, and let's not forget about safety. Since lithium-ion batteries have been known to easily combust during a car crash, shifting to a safer option should be a no-brainer. Honestly, who would want to be in a Richard Hammond situation? Furthermore, solid-state batteries are considerably lighter than regular batteries. This is because their solid electrolytes weigh a whole lot less than regular liquid-based electrolytes. Not to mention that the far superior energy density also plays a major role in reducing the weight of batteries even more. This is a much-needed improvement, as it'll both increase the drivability of electric vehicles as well as allow us to produce less powerful but more range-economic vehicles seeing as there won't be a need for excessive power to make a heavy car move. Finally, there is also the potential for lower pricing. When scaled up and fully developed, the price of solid-state batteries is expected to be lower than the price of regular lithium-ion batteries. Granted, the difference won't be very noticeable as they'll still utilize lithium, which is the most expensive material. However, it's good to hear that we'll still be coming a step closer to affordable EVs. But with that in mind, we must ask ourselves, are there any drawbacks of solid-state batteries? Drawbacks of solid-state batteries? Well, unfortunately, yes. There are quite a few issues that need sorting out before solid-state batteries are made. Yes, there is a potential for a lower price tag. However, that's just that. A potential that might be achieved once Toyota starts primarily producing them. Furthermore, solid electrolytes are, as we've already established, incredibly potent. However, that potency also comes with a massive drawback. You see, because they require considerably higher voltage, 
the electrolytes are known to deplete much earlier than expected, which once again makes solid-state batteries considerably less reliable than regular batteries. These problems have been known as the Achilles heel of solid-state batteries, as they have been almost impossible to mitigate or remedy. It's for these reasons that solid-state batteries, despite being more than a century-old concept, never saw any real use. And it's because of these massive drawbacks that we also need to ask the question, should we expect solid-state batteries to enter serial production? Yes, we should and soon, before you get discouraged by the previously mentioned issues that have been known when using solid-state batteries. Don't worry, Toyota is already on it, and their engineers have already mitigated or even completely sorted out most of these issues. Toyota was initially hesitant to enter the EV segment because their officials, most notably Akio Toyota, weren't exactly sold on EVs. Most EVs are still quite situational compared to regular internal combustion engines, as they offer low range, long recharge times, expensive pricing, and complicated maintenance. Plus, Toyota also expected that their EVs wouldn't be as popular due to their late entry into the segment. And frankly, they were right, as the V4X is selling quite poorly. It's for this reason that Toyota started investing most of its spare funds in seeking and developing a proper EV revolution and not just some arbitrary feature that countless others are doing. However, technological restrictions have generally prevented any significant steps forward in terms of EV development in the past. Thankfully, though, Toyota kept working their way around these problems, and now Toyota officials project that the first production vehicles that utilize solid-state batteries will be released to the public in 2027. Granted, these projections are quite optimistic, especially since Toyota already moved their initial 2025 date two years later. Toyota is undoubtedly in a conundrum here as the company has quite a lot of stuff on its plate and its position in the EV market is still not quite good. However, it seems like they're playing their cards quite well and we're quite happy to see Toyota so invested in creating a functional version of solid-state batteries. Furthermore, as we've already mentioned, the benefits of these batteries are way too good for Toyota to pass up. If they come up with this technology and put it out to the public soon, they might just manage to achieve their goal of becoming a top dog in the EV segment. But since Toyota only just entered the EV segment, a question imposes itself. What does this mean for the future of EVs? The future of EVs the development of solid-state batteries is incredibly important, not just for Toyota, but for the rest of EV manufacturers. Toyota is so sure about the importance of their new technology that they decided to announce a plan to sell 3.5 million EVs annually by 2030. That's like a 40 times increase compared to what they're currently offering in less than six years. They've already announced that they plan on introducing 30 new models that include a three-row SUV, a smaller hatchback, and a sports car, among others. Furthermore, this development of said batteries has, believe it or not, already stirred up a bunch of car manufacturers. Most notable of these are by far the European brands, which are getting obliterated in their home markets due to a complete lack of innovation combined with an incredibly high price. As a result, many manufacturers have already expressed interest or outright announced that they will be working on creating their own solid-state batteries. Volkswagen is the most prominent of these as they have been extensively testing out solid-state batteries for quite some time now. So with all of this in mind, we'd say that Toyota's predictions of creating a truly production-ready battery in the next few years aren't far-fetched. Far from it, the 2027 release is a bit optimistic in our opinion. However, we do believe that the roads will start seeing solid-state battery EVs by 2030 that aren't made exclusively by Toyota, but by numerous other manufacturers too. But as we've already established, Toyota is an incredibly versatile company, and they're not relying exclusively on EVs when it comes to their future portfolio. Many of you know that they've developed FCBs as well as hydrogen-powered internal combustion engines, but recently Koji Sato came out and announced that they were working on an all-new ammonia engine, which will combine the practicality and the soul of internal combustion engines with the ecological component of EVs.